Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 25. That is, what is system testing? Let me answer. System testing is one of the levels of software testing. In software testing, we have four levels. They are unit testing, integration testing, followed by system testing, which is finally followed by acceptance testing. These are the four levels of software testing. And uh, system testing is one of the levels of software testing, which comes after unit testing and integration testing. Okay. But what exactly is the system testing or what actually we test as part of system testing? Let me answer. In simple words, system testing is a process of testing the application or system as a whole, okay, as a complete. If you're testing the application as a complete, instead of testing the individual units of the application or instead of testing the group of units of the application or group of modules of the application that we do in unit and integration testing here, you are testing the entire system as a whole, okay? Entire application or system, you are testing as a whole and that too on the QA environment, okay? Not on the production environment, guys. On the QA environment, you are testing the entire application as a whole, okay? And as part of performing the system testing, we test the end-to-end -end flows, okay? We test the end-to-end -end flows, which simulate the, which simulate how the end user, okay? After you release the software into the market, how the real customer or end user is going to use the application, okay? The scenarios which are simulating how the end user or a end customer is going to use the application after releasing the software into the market, that kind of end-to-end -end flows we are going to test as part of system testing. So let me give an example. Okay? Let me give an example. So I'll take an e-commerce application as an example and show you what exactly system testing is here. Okay, if I take you to this application, guys, here, if you're testing this entire application, e-commerce application as an whole, as a whole, if you're testing, that's what is called as system testing. What if you're testing only this login functionality? You're only testing this login functionality. Is this an end-to-end -end testing? No, guys, okay? If you're only testing this login functionality, that is not end-to-end -end, uh, testing. Only login functionality you're testing. What if you are only testing the register functionality? That is not also end-to-end -end testing, right? That is also not end-to-end -end testing. So it's only a specific functionality testing you are doing. But if you are testing the system testing and as part of system testing, if you are testing the end-to-end -end flows, how the end-to-end -end flow will look like, I'll tell you, okay? As part of system testing, you are going to perform the end-to-end -end testing, which will uh, attach all the functionalities of the application. I'll tell you, I'll give you one example of a scenario that uh, an end user may perform, okay? End user may land on the application, guys. First, you, end user may open the application like this. After opening the application, end user will type HP or some product name into the search results, click on search button. And in the search results, the end user may get this product, okay? So search results uh, page is coming here. Apart from search functionality, we are getting the search results page. And uh, we will go to the product display page where all the details of the product are there. End user will uh, verify all the details, like uh, whatever the product he want, is meeting his uh, needs or not, he will verify here name, how much price and all those stuff. Okay, when it will be delivered and how much quantity, everything he'll verify here. He'll go to the specifications, he'll go through everything in this page. And after that, he'll click on the add to cart. So he'll go to the shopping cart, okay? If, if required, he'll update the shopping cart quantity, okay, if required. After updating the shopping cart quantity, and uh, he may apply some coupons or whatever it is and click on checkout. Then he may sign in using how many functionalities are coming when you are testing, uh, when you are performing an end-to-end -end testing flow, you see up starting from the search home page, search functionality, and after that product display page, adding to shopping cart page, checkout page. Now you are trying to log in, right? Giving the credentials here, login functionality is also being touched here. And also you are uh, giving the billing details, selecting the address details, delivery details, okay? Shipping details you are selecting. Lot of functionalities are coming in place. Like this, guys, he'll place an order. In real time, okay? In real time, when an end user or an end customer is going to use application, this is one of the example of an end-to-end -end flow that he may perform, right? So as part of system testing, okay, we test end-to-end -end flows. We'll not test only the login functionality, okay? We'll not, not uh, individual independently test the register functionality. We'll we will test the end-to-end -end flows, okay? We'll test the entire end-to-end -end flow that a real end user may actually perform while using the application for his purpose, okay? For his real-time needs. 
so that is what is called as system testing guys. testing in simple words guys testing the application or system as a whole on the testing environment that is qa environment is known as system test okay that is called as system test now under system testing okay under system testing you may either test the entire application as a whole or sometimes your application may be interacting with some third party or external application for example an e-commerce application may interact with a third party payment gateway application okay or an application like paytm or something may interact with uh, electricity government electricity uh, bill payment system or it may interact with some other application right so how our application as a whole is interacting with an external application to do the job okay if you have to test that we have to perform system integration testing how our system is integrating with other external applications as a whole is nothing but system integration testing guys okay is nothing but the how application is interacting with other external applications and still able to work without any failures or defects or anything testing such kind of thing is known as system integration testing system integration testing falls under the system testing system testing is a broader word okay system testing is a broader word for the system integration testing under system testing we get we also perform system integration testing where we test whether our application is interacting with properly with the other external applications and do the job okay so hope guys you understood now what exactly is system testing okay hope you will be able to answer if you get this kind of question in the interviews now so with this guys we are done with this session so let's meet in the next session where i'm going to answer the next software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye